Hello, and welcome to my new series where we'll take a deep dive into the world of Star Citizen cinematics. I backed Star Citizen in 2015, and as a full-time videographer, I was blown away by the beauty of this game from the very first minute. Back then, I admittedly did not have the hardware to run this game with a decent frame rate. And even now, seven years and two PCs later, I barely can get more than 40 FPS on average. However, we've come a long way since then. And besides the overall improved performance, a few other helpful tools and workarounds have popped up that help capture the true beauty of this game. Most of the time, I use 100% in-game footage for my YouTube videos. That's because I want to honor the work of the artists working on this project. To record this footage, I use NVIDIA GeForce Experience, since it's lightweight and it comes with my graphics card. If you have an AMD GPU, you can definitely use their screen recording tool as well. You might also try third-party software such as OBS. It's a great free tool, not only for live streaming, but for recording as well as combining different sources. But let's jump right into the game. In this very first episode, we will take a closer look at the basic camera settings of Star Citizen. Although Star Citizen is mainly a first-person experience, it also a lets you adjust to a third-person perspective and b gives you a few options to fine-tune this perspective. So, how do you switch camera perspectives? Simply press F4 to shift into an over-shoulder view. And as long as you don't change anything else in the camera settings, the camera will move along as you move your mouse. If you press F4 once more, you can switch to a more distance yet centered third-person view. As a filmmaker, you always strive for camera control. The more control you have over your camera, the more control you have over your image. In film, you will use a fixed focal length most of the time. This means that you don't have the option to adjust your field of view while filming. Some lens types, however, so-called zoom lenses, can adjust their focal length. Luckily, we also have this option in Star Citizen. Simply hold down F4 and press plus or minus on your numpad to extend or reduce your field of view. To move your camera sidewards, use F4 and the left and right arrows. and use your mouse wheel while holding down F4 to move your point of view in and out. Finally, use F4 combined with page up or page down to alter the height of your camera. Hold Y and move your mouse to rotate your camera. Depending on which localization you have, you might use Z instead of Y. Another camera-related term is depth of field. The larger your camera sensor, the wider your aperture, and the closer the object, the smaller your depth of field. In the game, we also have control over this exact camera feature. Simply press F4 and Home, or F4 and End to increase or decrease your depth of field. To move your focal point, hold F4 and press the up or down arrow. Note that there is a minimum and a maximum distance. To find the perfect sharp spot, simply crank up the depth of field, move to the spot and then readjust your focal area. You can save your camera settings by holding down F4 and a number on your numpad. To load one of those saved settings, Simply hold down F4 and shortly press one of those numbers. To reset your camera settings, combine F4 with the multiply or also known as asterisk key on your numpad. Well, that's it. Those are the basic camera movements available in Star Citizen. Most of them can also be applied to your own ship's third-person view, turning it into a wonderful camera drone. This sums it up for my first episode. To make full use of the camera perspectives that Star Citizen offers, switch back and forth between an immersive first-person perspective, an over-the-shoulder view or a more distant third-person view. If you liked what you just saw and you want to support me, make sure to share this video with your friends. Also make sure to watch the other episodes I have coming up, where I will be talking about advanced cinematics in Star Citizen. Together, we will deep dive into more tricks, tools and gadgets you can use to improve your shots. Please let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions.
or just join the discussions on my Discord, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook or Instagram accounts. You can find all links in the video descriptions down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.